Hey there, this is Victoria and today I'm going to talk about vitamin C, in particular how not all vitamin C is equal. So, I wasn't feeling very well the last few days and I decided to take some ascorbic acid. Matthew bought this, he bought loads of it. Um, he went in with a friend and they bought it wholesale and it's pure pharmaceutical grade ascorbic acid. And I've been taking it a teaspoon in water every couple of hours and definitely I felt really good um, benefits from it and I've definitely been feeling um, much better since taking it. So I was on the internet and I was looking up the benefits of vitamin C and all the different things it can do for you and I read an article by Dr. Tim O'Shea and he was talking about how ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. And basically the, the article was, he was explaining that you know, synthetic pharmaceutical grade vitamins, they're not the same as the whole food plant-based vitamins. And the reason for that is that what the, you know, the pharmaceutical companies do is they'll extract this active ingredient or you know, the active vitamin, which they call it vitamin C. Um, but vitamin C, in order to work and to, to, to do work its magic in your body in the way it's supposed to, um, the, the Mother Nature created that in such a way that all of the vitamins and the minerals, they, um, they work together synergistically. So when you just have this one vitamin on its own, it's not going to have the same effect on your body that the whole food form of the vitamin C would have. And I remember back to when I was younger, my mum telling me about aspirin. Now if you give someone too much aspirin, they're going to have a sore stomach because it actually can harm the lining of your stomach. Um, but you know, if anybody ever got a, a, a headache in our family, my mum would make them a Metasweet tea, and she'd make them, you know, she'd boil up some organic Metasweet, and she, you know, would drink it and would feel better. And Metasweet actually is a plant that contains the active ingredient that has been extracted to create aspirin. But the difference is that you can drink Metasweet tea as much as you like, and you know, it's not going to cause problems with your stomach because it's got all these other ingredients in the plant which actually protect your stomach, which protect your body. Which brought me back to vitamin C. When I was pregnant, I was looking up about different vitamins and minerals and, and um, you know, what I wanted to take, whether I was going to supplement different things. And I remember reading that if you overdose on ascorbic acid, the pharmaceutical version, it can actually cause you to miscarry or to have a premature baby, you know, premature labour. So I definitely didn't want to take that when I was pregnant, but what I did take was rose hips. Which brings me to this, when my mum sends me these over every now and again, my mum's really into um, natural things, and if ever we got a cold when I was a little girl, we would have, my mum would make us a, a cup of molasses, which is organic blackstrap molasses, you put a tablespoon in, into some warm water, and molasses is full of all the the vitamins and minerals from deep down in the ground and you know that's nourishes you and then she would also make us a rose hip tea. So rose hips are really rich in vitamins C, D, E, vitamins A, they also contain vitamins A, B1, K, P, B3, I'm actually reading this off the script, um, and pectin, phosphorus, calcium and magnesium and they also contain essential fatty acids, omega-6, omega-3 and beta-carotene. So rose hips, so they're a powerhouse. And um, when you're pregnant, you can drink as much rose hip tea as you want, or you can take as much rose hips as you want, because it contains the bioflavonoids, all the other micronutrients that actually are going to protect your body and protect your baby. So, I mean, there's a huge difference. Although this works, it definitely makes me feel better, and has definitely made Matthew feel better in the past, and I would highly recommend it if you can't get your hands on anything else. You know, natural, organic rose hips. Um, are significantly better. So what I decided was, my mum sent me these, I can't remember if you can see this, and they're little tiny shells, and what we would usually do with them is we would boil them up, and boil them up, and boil them up, and boil them up, and then you'd strain it, and what's left is the rosehip tea. And uh, whilst that's great, I've actually found myself not doing it and going for the pharmaceutical version just because I thought it was hard work you know, modern living and modern society, and then I was, had this idea to myself, what if I could make these into a powder, and I could just put a spoonful into my smoothies. So I looked it up online, and sure enough, you can actually buy organic rosehip powder, and it's full of all the minerals and nutrients 
um, that are in the, the blue tip shells. So I thought to myself, why not just make my own powder? So today I'm going to pour in the rose tip shells and make a rose tip powder. Okay, so now I've made a powder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of that every now and again, every time I make a smoothie, and put it in. And I bet it's going to taste nice, but I haven't actually tried it yet. So I'll let you know in the next video. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, leave a comment below and uh, please definitely subscribe. Thank you.